You should know that today my 17-year-old nephew Alex told me that I probably could start a video blog about my life. And with that type of confirmation from a teenager, I think you're stuck with more video blogs. It's been a long couple of days as I've been working on the studio and then also going to an event for the fraternity that I was in when I was in college. Um, it was a golfing event and so you'll see some of that today as well as some of the progress from the studio the last couple of days. And before we get into all of the rest of the last couple of days, I've got a little bit of information, a word of inspiration uh, for you that I shared from the gym. Hey guys, Travis Lloyd here. I uh, wanted to take a second to uh, just share what's on my mind right now. Um, I, uh, I want to reiterate the importance of taking care of yourself and having consistency in your daily habits, uh, especially when you've got a lot of things going on in your life and you're really stressed out. Uh, to be honest with you, I've been really, really stressed out with my own life, both personally, professionally, uh, lots going on in, in a lot of areas. And a long time ago, it used to get me down to the point where I would just sit and not do anything and feel stuck. Now, for those of you who already understand this, think of this as confirmation that you're doing the right thing. But I know and I run into people all the time who don't grasp this. All you have to do is make sure that you are being fully, fully, fully consistent in something that is healthy for you. And for me, it's that exercise, and I know that a lot of people don't think that they can get into it as much, but if you just get into it a little bit, a few times every week, I guarantee you it makes a big, big difference. And right now, as I'm going through a lot of stuff, forcing myself to get in here is making all the difference in the world that gives me the energy and the inspiration for me to keep them like, even though I'm doing some difficult things. So anyway, hope this has been helpful to you. Make sure you uh, go out and do what you need to do for yourself. 385 right here, three reps, personal best. So I just left the gym and uh, I ran into uh, a guy in the parking lot who uses the same gym who's a, uh, a movie director. And um, it just reminded me of a time when I auditioned actually for uh, one of the roles in a movie he was doing, a short feature film. And uh, gosh, it just reminded me of the importance of just following what you dream of doing no matter what. Um, I remember back then I was, I was actually uh, so into this movie, or this, uh, this video series, Prison Break, and I just watched it endlessly, which I don't do that very often. I barely ever actually watch TV anymore, but I couldn't get off of Prison Break, and I watched it, watched it, watched it, until I felt like, man, I could do that, and then I went and auditioned for this video, that for this movie that happened to have Prison Break theme type of characters in it, and uh, man, it, it was just so fun doing that. Now that the video, the movie didn't end up getting made, um, but it was a cool experience, and now I uh, have more connections with other people in the community, so uh, that's kind of cool, but I'm heading to the uh, hardware store now to uh, pick up everything I need uh, to finish painting and for the tile guys to come install tile in the studio tomorrow. <laughs> well, just got home and uh, realized that I forgot to get the uh, right colors for the walls that we're going to paint today in the basement studio. Uh, so now we're on our way to go get that done. Well, it's another day in the uh, studio build project and I'm not so happy with the colors that we put in yesterday. So we're going to have to change it. As you can see, this wall right here, kind of like a charcoal. I thought it looked kind of cool in some of the pictures that I was looking at, but I guess I didn't take into consideration the fact that even though this extra window is in here bringing extra light in the room, it's still pretty dark and it's kind of low ceiling, so it's just too dingy. So we're gonna have to change that out. And today, what I'm doing right away this morning is preparing the floor for the tile guy to come in and lay tiles so you know what this is gonna look like. The, this floor right here, all of it's gonna be tile, except for right over there in the center of the floor, that's where I'm actually gonna put hardwood floor next week, uh, and that's also where my desk is going to be. So it'll be kind of a tile room with a hard floor center uh, for where my desk will be. Well, um, 
Seems like everything is not as easy as I thought. I uh, wanted to get all the painting done yesterday so the tile guy could come today, so we did all the painting, but turns out we don't like the painting, so we're gonna have to change it another time. Tile guy was supposed to be here at 8 a.m. and he didn't show up, and uh, still isn't here, it's almost noon, and we're about to, ready to go to an event, uh, which I'll show you a bit later. So hopefully he shows up soon, otherwise looks like we might have to find a different tile, different tile guy. We're out here on the golf course, having a good time, sweating it up. My nephew's over there driving another golf car. And this is Mark and his brother Seth over there. They're both much better at golf than I am. <laughs> we still don't have the tile done and we still don't have the paint done.